I did an interview uh, yesterday, day for yesterday. Mm -hmm. And one of the questions was, I want to see how you think. He said, do you like to win or do you hate to lose? I said, like, damn, that's an interesting yeah. question. I've never, <laughs> I've never been asked that question in an interview. And, I, and so the way I answered that question was, I said, you know, I like to win. I think losing is inedible. At some point, you're not going to win all the time. You're going to fail, no doubt. But I have the winning attitude to get back up. How can I learn from what I fell from? Mm -hmm. Take those lessons and put it together to become a winner again. And two, if I choose winning, I don't like the knowledge failure. Just the fact that I like to win automatically acknowledges that I don't like to fail. Mm -hmm. But some people don't like to fail, but they don't necessarily mean that you want to win. Yeah. You want to be average. You want to be in there. I'm a winner. I'm yeah. a winner in my life. Even in the lowest point of how I look, I'm still a winner. Because I'm, I walk, like to say, I'm walking by faith, not by sight. And in these yeah. eyes, so I'm a winner. And a winner for philosophy is what I'm thinking. He's like, I like the way you think. I like the way you answered that. Yeah, that's that's a uh, real shit, man. You you definitely gotta uh see yourself how you really are, man. Even like that's what I feel like a lot of people fuck up there too, is uh they'll see themselves like actually at the lowest. And like you said, you walking by faith, mm -hmm. not by sight. So that means you're you're seeing yourself as a winner at all times. And whatever does happen, that shit is not rocking you, moving you out of that energy. You're staying ten toes down and being a winner. So Man, it's, that, it's all energy at the end of the day. It's, it's, it's all energy and it's a lesson. Everything is meant. You know, when they told me, hey, I'm sorry, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I hate that shit, bro. And all that, Everything. Okay, whatever. You you, 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 you walking me out? Who, who do I get my badge to? Because I'm thinking like, well, shit, it's like 10 something right now, shit. I'm not, I was, first thing came to my mind, I hope they don't think I'm going to stay here all day. Shit, it's time for me to bounce. Oh, they like, you know, you got to leave effective immediately. And it's like, oh, 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 okay. Oh, shit, let me get the fuck out. Yeah. Here, go clean your desk out for you. Okay, that's fine. Go, hey, go give me this. Go give me this. Give me all this. I need my uh, yoga ball up in that desk right there. Bring me this. I got my keys. I got this or whatever. Mm -hmm. Y'all got your shit? Okay, I'm out. Good riddance. It's over. Yep. You know, I'm not, well, you know, I, I walked out. Hey, thank you, man, dude. It's been a pleasure working with you, man. And, you know, it is what it is. All right, boom. Let's go. I'm on God's plan. Yeah. I, I got big things going. Mm -hmm. And I was just seeing my horoscope lined up with that. My horoscope had already told me I was going to lose my job this month. It said October or whatever. Every I, every horoscope that I look at in the Aries is like going into like, you're going to lose a job or whatever. Better is coming to you or whatever. And like I said, if you're a faith-based person, you got to understand, you know, blessing in disguise. And then two, I've had these experiences in life before. You go back to look at the Lockheed when, oh, uh, well, not that, but to go back to look at when they threw me on night shift mm -hmm. and, and, and cut me from that position. Go back and look to when I got laid up at this very same day to celebrate me because I got another position that boosted me up, up, up more. Me leaving high school, didn't have money for college, not knowing what I was going to do, leaving on this day. Yeah. So as you go through things and you overcome, your faith gets stronger and you take on bigger and better things. With each failure brings you stronger as you overcome it. You get stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's, you know, you up to that point, like an Oprah, where you tackle a million dollar problems. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be prepared for each level of that shit. Yeah. Don't. You can't fail. Yeah. At $30,000 and think nah, you ready. Think you ready million. to run. Yeah. Nah. You, you ready to run and you can't overcome that little obstacle. Manage each level and take that shit as it comes. Before you know it, you'll be able to manage the shit that you're trying to do. Yeah. And guess why you stay ready? You build your skills up. Put Thank times you. like this. Thank you. That's so the really shit. I trust man. the process. And that's one of the things that I'm doing since, you know, they laid me off. I got a process going. Mm -hmm. I was laid off, uh, what, the 12th? Hell, I didn't already been on two, three interviews already. This is in, in the first two weeks, I'm already interviewing. 